Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, we are going to show you how to stream with Streaming Apps Mobile, the entire mobile setup tutorial. Now, we have had a few shorter videos about this, but today we are going to show you how it's done from start to finish. Now, as you can see, I am in the Google Play Store. You can do this with the uh, Apple App Store too. Just tap on the search bar and just type in Streamlabs, and it's going to be this one. As you can see, it says Open Streamlabs Live Streaming installed uh it's just like any other app just install tap and install and it's going to install on its own after that just tap on open to open this right <clears throat> and it's going to show you the screen and it's going to have an annoying pop out i don't know why they do this but it's kind of annoying but nevertheless that's how the interface is at um <clears throat> let's just wait for it to load because for if, if it loads for the first time it is a bit slow uh sometimes when people are using it so let's just wait. <clears throat> and as you can see, it says start casting or uh, start recording with Streamlabs. Uh, you can just say start now or cancel. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to uh, go out of this first. And what you want to do next. Okay, let's okay, let's start cancel. Let's go out and ready your game that you're going to stream on your mobile phone. So for this instance, it's going to be Brawl Stars. So let's open Brawl Stars first. <clears throat> Alright. So again, this is a, an older phone, that's why it's a bit slower, but you know, bear with me. <clears throat> Alright, so as you can see, we don't need to wait for it, just make sure that it's open. All right? Okay, and then now go back to Streamlabs. And what you want to do in the screen, again, as you can see, every time you open this, this is going to pop up. So tap cancel. What you want to do next is tap on the three lines or hamburger icon on the upper left corner of the screen like so. And here you're going to be brought to your settings. Now, what, what are you going to do? Uh, first, <clears throat> tap on themes. Here you can add a theme uh, that you can use, but you would need premium for this. So, so if, we, for example, let's tap this. As you can see, you need to upgrade to Ultra. We don't have that, so... But if you want, you can do that. Uh, and then Scenes here, it's either the default uh, vertical or the horizontal um, way. So we're at default at, you know... Let's choose between the two. After that, go up, uh, go out again. And here, what you want to do is tap on Alerts. <laughs> and here, you're going to... Uh, disable the ones that you're not going to use so for example if you're going to uh stream on twitch what you want to do is just deactivate or disable the things that doesn't you know have anything to do with twitch so as you can see how about redemptions merchandise twitch subscriptions prime subscriptions uh youtube members we don't need that uh youtube subscription you don't need that so anything twitch you can you have to enable other than that you don't so after that go back again and go to account settings. Now here you need to make sure that your your uh, whatever uh, platform you're streaming to, you're connected. So as you can see, we have we're connected to the Twitch account. We're connected to the YouTube account. We could we're connected to the Facebook account. Now, you know, like <clears throat> that makes sure uh, that we can stream to these platforms because of course you need to be logged in. You need to have an account to stream to that platform. Uh, just make sure that you have those. So after that, go back again and go to stream settings <clears throat> now here in stream settings here this is pretty much your settings like in obs or stream labs the desktop version if you tap to audio settings you could uh you know like lo make your uh microphone lo uh lower or higher uh internal same thing this is internal is pretty much uh the quote-unquote desktop audio or you know the in-game audio right so more audio options this is where you just have to you know quick uh tweak it the way you want and sample rate you want you know like again just choose whatever you want or whatever your phone can have video settings uh same time as you can see output resolution 1080p if you have a slower phone or an older phone like mine you might want 720p like this expected frame rate uh 60 fps is the best uh but if not 30 fps will do and after that maximum bit rate 3875 you might want to make it higher, maybe 6,000, kind of like the desktop one. 
uh, stream status indicator should be on. Um, cooking orientation lock allowed to change stream orientation after the streaming was started. Only Twitch and Trovo supports midstream orientation change at this moment. So as you can see, you can you have you can have that enabled uh, since we're using Twitch. But if you're using YouTube, you, yeah, you might want to disable that. But since we're using Twitch, we're going to enable that, right? Um, after that, go back again and uh, tap on events list. Here again, uh, everything should be off and then just use the ones uh, that you're going to use to stream on whatever platform you're going to stream. So we're streaming on Twitch. We take off uh, the Twitch uh, the Twitch um, Twitch options that we have. So like that, right? Twitch gift subs, so on and so forth. Twitch hosts, Twitch sub tiers, Twitch subscriptions. You, you get the deal. And then go back, uh, go platform settings. So again, Twitch settings. This is where you just choose whatever Twitch settings you want. Uh, after that, um, go to advanced settings. So this is where, you know, things can be, again, depending on your phone, right? So these are the default ones for me, right? So that my phone can, can actually stream on Twitch or in any platform. Uh, and then after that, privacy settings, not really needed. So go back again, go back again. And then after this, uh, it says go to advanced settings because these are um, the you know simpler standard settings. Go to advanced settings, click continue, and here you're going to have other options like stream settings, right? Simple mode, um, and account settings. So after that, what you want to do next is again check on stream settings, right? Check everything again. Like, are, is your audio good? Is your video good? Um, is everything good? account settings are you connected to the account that you're going to stream on so after that what you want to do is go back again so now you're going to be brought to this page again now so here this time we're going to tap on start now so if you tap on start now it says uh okay it says go live right don't, don't mind that i tap on go live select platform so here this is where you select platform. So we're going to go with Twitch. Click next. <clears throat> so as you can see, sometimes it, it's cussed, but it's going to be brought to your user, right? And then Twitch game, stream title. Um, and then after after you've created your stream title and you're in what game you're playing, you can just stop go live and you will be good to go so that's pretty much it that's a video hope you liked it like comment share subscribe ring that bell icon we'll see you on the next one